So in this short video, I'll show you how we can factorise some simple linear expressions. So we've got 4x plus 16, and we need to write that. When we factorise, we usually put something in brackets, and it, we have one uh, term or number multiplying something in the brackets that gives us what we started with. Now we look into both terms, and we look for something that's in both. It's not obvious when you look at it, but you should notice that 4 and 16 are both in the same times tables, so they're in the 4 times table. So we could write, if we think of that as 4, this pen's being a bit funny, 4 times x plus 4 times 4. Now you don't need to write it out like this every single time, but it's just to help you see. So 4 is in both terms, so we can take that out. If you cross it off, what you have left, goes on the inside. I'll give you one similar, but I'll show you a different way of doing it. Suppose I had 12x plus 20. Well, again, I'm in the 4 times tables. I know that 4 goes into 12 and 4 goes into 20, so that goes on the outside. Now, 4 goes into 12 three times. The x goes next to it. 4 goes into 20 five times. So that's what I think it is when I factorised it. I can check 4 times 3x is 12x, and 4 times 5 is 20. So I know I've done it correctly. That doesn't really make a lot of difference if we go into negative numbers, so I'll show you um, what I mean by that. So suppose we had 9 minus 15x. Can we factorise that? Well, 3 goes into both 9 and 15. 3 3's are 9. Leave that minus sign where it is. We'll need 3 5's to make the 15 and keep the x. And again, you could check that by expanding. Now, to make it slightly more difficult, um, we might have two letters. We might have xy minus 4x. So in this particular um, example, we've got an x in both terms. So we can write the x on the outside of the brackets, and it's x times y for the first time, and x times minus 4, so did I say first time, first term, and x times minus 4 for our second term. So we'll have a look at one more then that involves letters and numbers. 12ab minus 4a. Now quite often in this uh, example, quite a few students would perhaps only get one of the marks. So the first thing you should notice is that there's the number 4 again going into both terms. So we'll put the 4 on the outside. Now a lot of students would write brackets now and miss a mark. What we should also notice is that we have an A in both terms. So it's 4A on the outside. We're going to need a 3 to get the 12 and the B because 4A times 3B equals 4 times 3 times a b. This is the difficult bit. But hopefully with practice you'll see that. So we need the 4a then the 3b. We've taken the a out so we're only left with the, the minus um, 4. What am I saying? The minus, yep, the minus 1 should I say. And the, yep, I've got my 4a, I'm just checking this. So I've got my 4a so there, so it's just times the minus 1. 4a times the minus 1. You can check by multiplying. We know that we've done the 12ab, that's OK. And the 4a times minus 1 will give me the minus 4a. So that's um, a few examples of factorising simple linear expressions.